Stick with me to learn how to bury your loved ones at home. Hey, I'm Janet Ellis and I'm a home funeral guide in New Hampshire. And um, home funerals in New Hampshire are legal. Uh, you can bury on your own property. Um, there's about 150 years ago or about 100 years ago, this is how you bury people, um, was on your own property um, or in the cemetery in a green fashion. Um, it was eco-friendly and now we've gone to this movement in the last hundred years with the history um, of embalming. The last about 20 years has been a movement um, to bring home funerals back, to educate families. So during the Civil War is when the embalming started. Um, the, they would embalm the soldiers so that they could bring them home because it was a long period of time over the trains and transportation. Uh, so the last 20 years has been a movement um, in America to go back to home funerals and educating people to bury their own dead. Um, we've created this phobia, this fear of dead people um, that we just call the funeral home and we don't want to see them, we don't want to touch them. Um, and that's just the process that we're in. And so it's trying to educate people and trying to change people's minds that this is legal. Um, this is, it's good for uh, for healing emotionally, it's good to allow, you know, to be able to see the body and uh, realize that the soul and the spirit's gone. Um, it's, it's very, it, to be purposeful, to be able to wash the body and uh, care for the body yourself um, is just, it's, it's an emotionally healing process. Um, the costs, the funeral homes, it costs between eight and twelve thousand uh, dollars to bury someone right now in America and the home funeral costs can be from nothing um, up to about $1,200, depending on you know what your final disposition is. And with the home funerals, it doesn't have to be all or anything. Um, it can You can still be cremated. You can still go through the aquamation process. Um, you can bury on your own land. You can bury in a cemetery. So there's just lots of options, and it's about taking back that ownership, the ownership of caring for your own dead. So how a home funeral would work is if your loved one passed away, whether they passed away in the hospital or at home, um, you would bring the body home. Um, most people decide um, they, right away you want to wash the body, you want to um, honor the body by cleaning it. Um, it's not something that you necessarily need to do, but it's an honoring way to love your, to love your loved one is to, to wash their body and to dress them. Um, you have about six hours before rigor mortis will sit in. Um, so you want to dress that body and place them and, and how you would like them to be viewed. Um, a lot of people use their own homes, whether they use a chiropractic table um, to lay out a body um, or a massage table, or some people prefer their dining room table or their bed. Um, and so the viewing of the body is how uh, your family would want it, whether you, know, you want people to come in or you want it to be laid out in the dining room. There are certain things that you can do um, to set the jaw and to close the eyes, but you would pres preserve the body with about 65 degrees, either air conditioning or you use ice packs. Um, and the body can remain in the home for anywhere from one to three days. Um, legally, there's no end time to that. You can go longer than three days, but um, you do need to keep the body cool. Um, not refrigerated, but cool. And so about three days is what people are most comfortable with. And then once you have um, the death certificate and the final disposition, the final disposition would be where, whether they're going to be cremated, um, put you know, out to sea or buried in a home, um, a, you know, a home plot um, or in your backyard or you know, anywhere that you decide that that final disposition would be. Um, and then you would transport the body yourself to that final disposition. Um, and you'd have you know, your traditional graveside service if that's what you want or whatever, there's, there's no rules. <laughs> so it's whatever it is that you would want. One of the things I really like about home funerals are they are low cost if you're willing to do some of the work yourself. I also assume it'd be very therapeutic in the grieving process to actually get out and build something and help put the body to rest. I also like that you're not putting a formaldehyde filled body into the ecosystem. There's a very natural way to do it. A lot of times these people even just use cardboard boxes so they break down. I also like the idea of personalizing the coffin, sending your loved one off with a message. 
a lot of times children get involved and do decorations and say what they want to say, and it helps them grieve and deal with the fact that someone has passed they love. I think it's a really interesting tradition, and I might even consider doing it for myself. One last side note is there are some minor rules about bearing in New Hampshire. You need to be 100 feet away from a structure and 50 feet away from a waterway. But other than that, that's about it. Also, don't dig the hole six feet under. Only go four feet so it can decompose properly. You can find lots more information and information about your state at their website. Uh, my website's grievinggreen.com and there's a lot of information and links on there. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Also give this a thumbs up, a like, a share, or if you have something to add, remember to comment below. Thanks. Also, don't forget to stop by terranlupo.com. I have up videos that you can't see anywhere else. 